the Green Party of the United States. We will refuse to proceed from the politics of fear and scarcity. It isn't just about getting America back on track. It's also about getting our relationship with the global world back. The politics of courage. Our economy is dependent on a healthy environment. When we restore and preserve the integrity of our natural systems, we support the economy. A green economy is a full employment economy. It's more than jobs. We believe everyone deserves healthy livelihoods. Provide work with dignity and a healthy wage. Enable people to live fulfilling and productive lives. So the first thing is if somebody can't find a job in the private sector, they should be able to go to their employment office, not the unemployment office, the employment office, and say, I want my job. And those jobs would have been determined by local communities and public works and services using unused labor to meet unmet needs in the community that the community determined. It would be funded by the state out of progressive taxes. That's what we need immediately to begin to put people back to work. Then we need public investment in a sustainable green economy, renewable energy, mass transit, clean manufacturing, organic agriculture, all the things we need to have an economy that is sustainable environmentally as well as economically. A green economy is a sustainable economy. Local organic agriculture provides more jobs than our current centralized food system. And it also requires less energy. Add to that our ability to produce energy from clean and renewable sources, and we're offering communities food and energy security. And a green economy is a just economy. That means standing up to Wall Street and making our monetary system a public utility. What we need is a state bank a publicly controlled bank that can direct investment into the areas that we need in this sustainable green economy. North Dakota has done it since 1918. They've turned a profit for the state every year, financing the state's farms, businesses, even their college student loans. North Dakota does not face a fiscal crisis. They have a budget surplus, one of only two states in this recession. There are multiple existing solutions that current public policy keeps us from implementing. So any serious plan to fix our broken economic system must include electoral politics. It's where all these issues come together. We can no longer allow American politics to hold us back. I'm Michael O'Neill. I am from the Green Party of New York State. And New York State needs a Green New Deal. Back in 2010, when we should have been expanding transit services as part of a strategy to create jobs and fight climate change, they cut services and hiked our fares. And for what? To pay back interest on debt owed to J.P. Morgan Chase and Citigroup and a bunch of banks that the 99% had just bailed out? It's a travesty. TWU Local 100 and communities in New York have organized to restore some of those services and those victories are fantastic. But we must stay with them in that fight because we're still paying interest on those debts to those big banks. And the next time that Wall Street drives our economy off of a cliff, you can be sure that those cutbacks and those fare hikes will return quicker than you can say, stand clear of the closing doors. <laughs> the corporate parties have refused to make Wall Street and the 1% pay their fair share of revenue. And so they continue to bear MTA in debt. We've got to fight the corporate parties. We've got to fight the big banks. We've got to fight for transit justice and a Green New Deal. The Green Party is built on widely held values of justice and caring, and it represents the political challenge necessary to transform our system, build a better life for everyone, and assure a vibrant future for our children and grandchildren. If these values are your values, please support the Green Party. Together, we can build the world we know is possible. Thank you.